Hello everyone and welcome to our segment of the Mango Lounge. I want to bring a topic to you today that brings us happiness, brings us joy, adds color to our life. Uh, but as Pakistanis, we have failed to embrace it. I want to talk about dance, particularly its struggles in today's Pakistan. Dance, as I call it, the stepchild of the arts in Pakistan, has taken a beating since the inception of the country. In the subcontinent, there are six main forms of dance. You have Bharat Natyam, you have uh, Kachipudi, you have Kathakali, Kathak, you have Odissi, and you have Manipuri. Most of these dances are indigenous to the southern parts of the subcontinent, so mainly South India today. Kathak is the only Northern Indian dance Kathak, in fact, is a dance that gained all its sophistication in the courts of the Mughal kings. In fact, I have to mention Wajid Ali Shah, who was the 11th Nawab of Awadh, who was a great patron of the arts. He was a dancer, he was a poet, and it was under his patronage, Kathak gained uh, its significance as a major form of Indian classical dance. Kathak comes from the word Katha, meaning story. Uh, these were stories that were told by the gypsies of India or the traveling bards of India that went place to place um, storytelling uh, for the entertainment of the people. Kathak originated in uh, present-day Taxila, Punjab. Uh, these dances date back to the 4th and 5th century and some of them even earlier than that. I want to now move forward to the 1947 era, which is the inception of Pakistan. There were many dance academies uh, and dancers that existed at the time. The major cities were a hub of culture, of music, of theater, and of dance. Uh, these academies conducted full classes with children who would learn either an instrument or learn singing or learn dance. And they were encouraged uh, to do that. I'm going to now fast forward to the 1970s, the time when Bhutto's regime was there. During the 70s, Bhutto had requested the then well-known TV broadcaster, producer, director Zia Moyuddin uh, to take over its PIA Arts Academy. Mr. Moyuddin realized very soon uh, that an essential component uh, of art, namely dance, was missing. And after much talent hunting, uh, a young 13-14 uh, uh, year old uh, girl, Nahid Siddiqui, uh, who was at that time uh, a student of Kathak with the great Baba Maharaj in Lahore, was inducted in the PIA Arts Academy. Political jealousies soon caused the closure of the PIA Arts Academy. Uh, in 1976, PTV televised the first Kathak performance ever in the history of the country, which featured Nahid Siddiqui. She was meant to film 13 uh, episodes uh, that were filmed and were going to be aired, but apparently only five were aired. In 1979, Bhutto was hanged. Zia's military regime took over. The show was banned. It was declared un-Islamic because of the Islamization agenda of the military regime. The Minister of Culture at that time came to the television studios and said that this is not Muslim culture or Pakistani culture, that a woman should be dancing. And it's not a good example for our young generation. Then I really couldn't even practice dance here in Pakistan. I was not allowed to go out of the country also. You know, you have to take permission from the state bank and all that. And they said that your name is in the blacklist. But they sent me to Islamabad to take permission, special permission to leave the country. I was offloaded <laughs> from the plane and, um, you know, they're under Ziaul Haq's regime, all this martial law people who took over the Ministry of Culture and they made me wait for two hours and then they saw me, they surrounded me like three, four people and they said, why do you want to leave the country? You know, I had to make an excuse uh, that a friend is ill and they said, where is the letter? I didn't have a letter and they made me sign a document that I will not dance anywhere in the world unless the government of Pakistan wants me to. Dance was banned in Pakistan and continues to be banned. In the 1980s, a law was passed that bans any woman from wearing ghungroos and dancing on stage. There is a subset of the population that believes that the Taliban are a perfect model of an Islamic state. 
It was the death of classical dance in Pakistan that led to the encouragement of the Mujra culture. And while the Mujra culture flourished and local Punjabi and Pashto movies showcased distasteful and disgraceful dances, classical dance, which is our clean cultural heritage, was not permitted. It was almost 20 years that Nahid was not allowed to openly perform in her home country. She returned time and again and with the help of patrons performed in the most adversarial of circumstances. Amongst the literary circle, she was always received with tremendous adulation and applause. Encouraged by private groups, in 1997, Nahidji performed for the Rafi Peer Theatre for the second international dance and theatre festival at the Alhamra Arts Complex in Lahore. I still remember the great applause she received when she came back to Pakistan and gave her first public performance uh, after the end of the military regime. And it was as though the whole city had turned out to greet her. She had a standing ovation in the Alhambra Arts Center, and it was a most exhilarating thing. She was weeping, the audience was weeping. It was one of the most memorable moments, I think, in the history of our culture, contemporary culture. She has, against all challenges, spent decades of her life bringing exuberance and hope to a dance form that has received very little state patronage and support. She has earned the reputation of a prolific artist, an exemplary dancer, and set a formidable standard of quality and technical expertise in Kathak. And not alone in Kathak as it is, but she has contributed her own expression, Jisko Hum Gharana Kehte Hain, which is imbued by Islamic and Sufi aesthetics. Since her move in 1979, Nahid Siddiqui has lived in Great Britain, where she continued to dance as well as teach the art of Katha. Let's meet Nahid Siddiqui. We are very happy to have her with us today. Thank you so much. Thank you for inviting me. Thank you for your love. I'm grateful. We're so happy to have you here. I have a few things that we uh, want to ask you. Uh, well, there are actually many things we want to ask you. Uh, but of course, because of the time limitation, you know, I want to throw out some things out there so that, uh, you know, our audience uh, uh, hears it from you. Uh, so, Nahiji, you were born in uh, Rawalpindi, Pakistan. Uh, you were a disciple of uh, the great uh, Baba Maharaj uh, in Lahore and later on uh, went on to learn from uh, Birju Maharaji in India. Uh, how was it learning dance in Pakistan in the 60s and 70s? I started in 70s. Um, I, was in, I, I went to Baba. I was in home economics college. I had just I was in first year, and uh, and uh, I was very sure what I wanted to do because I used to dance as a child in school. I would take part in you know extracurriculum activities, uh, curricular activities, and that uh, uh, dance me bahut mera. You know I really wanted to all the time i don't know i just uh, felt uh, some abandonment you know the freedom of soul because i didn't ever know when i was dancing even without learning where i was when i was dancing so uh, then uh, when i was in college i heard about uh, maharaj baba and i Jeez. said i want to go i want to go uh, to him to learn kyunki lahore me matthew sir and uh, there wasn't anybody here, you know, teaching. Gee. And uh, dance was not really seen as a subject, which still we have a problem with. And uh, so, you know, nobody could understand why do I want to, you know, uh, pursue something like that, although I didn't announce anything. The, the interest actually kept developing because I think uh, teachers also play a great role and you know uh, how she or he shaped your destiny that's right. what a guru and ustad does i wanted to ask you uh, nahiji that you were banned from dancing under the islamization policies of the military regime uh, you left the country for great britain in 1979 what were your uh, emotions at that time? What was your state of mind? I mean, it was definitely a very tumultuous time for you. I was a bit numb because I was doing a serial 
uh, called Pile on um, a TV. And this is the first time in the history of uh, Pakistan that, you know, uh, anything on Kathak uh, was, uh, became a serial because the serial has 13 episodes. And uh, so I could only do five. And that's when, uh, you know, uh, I was banned and uh, the regime, military regime came in power, Zawzak Saab Awe. Or सबसे पहले डांस को उन्होंने कहा कि ये यू नो दिस इज नॉट आ कल्चर और ये बेहुदगी घर घर देखी जाएगी तो इसको बंद किया जाए आई मीन अखबारों में आया था कि नाहिद सिद्दीक इज जॉइनिंग आवर यंगर जनरेशन एंड इस तरह की चीजें एंड सो यू कैन इमेजिन दैट आई एक्चुअली कुड बिलीव दैट आई विल नॉट इवन बी एबल टू प्रैक्टिस इट एट होम यू नो इतनी हॉस्टाइल वो सारी चीज हो गई थी तो फिर मैं जाहिर है कि नम थी बिल्कुल बट आई न्यू दैट टाइम हेज कम दैट वेन आई हैव टू बी समेर यू नो नॉट हेयर एंड यू नो माई एक्स हजबेंड हैज जस्ट लेफ्ट बिकॉज ऑफ द सिचुएशन बिकॉज भुट्टो साहब के you know he used to run the academy pi arts academy they were doing that so wo pehle hi chale gaye the mujhse ek saal pehle chale gaye the because uh, he could see and so he was already there and i am going to join him so uh, that was not uh, totally alien yes artistically yes it was an alien for me mm-hmm. because yahan mujhe thode se log janne lag gaye the लेकिन वहां मैं जब गई तो आई वॉज एब्सोलूटली लॉन्ग जॉब एंड वॉक जस्ट क्वाइटली एंड आई डो नो आई वॉज जस्ट बट देन ऑब्वियसली आई नाउ फील दैट इट वॉज एक दरवाजा बंद होता है तो बहुत सारे खुलते हैं जी हाँ so if i hadn't gone there the exposure that i got from there mm. and what how much i added on to my learning was a blessing in this life really i'm sure i i'm sure you had a very sophisticated audience there and also a very receptive audience uh, yes. and you know you got tremendous adulation and i think for an artist there's nothing uh, bigger and better than that ke aapke fun ki koi appreciation ho um nahiji for the many years that followed uh, after your exit from uh, the country in 1979 uh, you made visits every few years you know where you took uh, a big risk uh, and performed with the help of art patrons in pakistan like the rafi peer theater and the pirzadas and so on did you fear your life bilkul i was on the stay i mean jab mai aayi pehli performance meri hui thi wo bhi hamari foundation ke youtube channel pe hai और आप देख सकते हैं उसमें आई थिंक पीपल शुड सी द वॉम वेलकम दर आई गॉन और सारे आर्टिस्ट बैठे हुए थे यू नो सरीमा हाशमी एंड शुब साहब एंड यू नो यू नेम इट समीना एंड जावेद जबार साहब यूज टू बी द मिनिस्टर ऑफ कल्चर पहले तो इजाजत ही नहीं मिल रही थी दोपहर तक शाम को परफॉर्मेंस थी and uh, i think we got the permission one and a half hours before and they all the artists got together and they were really wo mere bazoo ban gaye the bilkul sare halanki i am not a political person but obviously art play a very very important role in politics in that sense also of a country and to shaping it up you know like arts are important you know so wo uh, bahut uh, khatra to tha खुशी भी उतनी ही थी और यू नो वी डिट वॉन्ट टू बी डिफीटेड नही जी वे डू यू थिंक वी वेंट रॉन्ग इन द रिकग्नेशन ऑफ डांस इन आर सोसाइटी बहुत सी गलतियां हुई हैं इसलिए ये गलती हुई है क्योंकि पहले तो ये कि हम जो हैं हम अपने माशरे में अपनी सोसाइटी में लड़कियों को बच्चों को ऐसे uh, पालते हैं कि उनको हम एक डेडलाइन दे देते हैं शादी और uh, एक यू नो वी केज देयर माइंड 
हम कभी नहीं कहते कि भाई आप जो करना चाहते हैं करें लेकिन इंसान पहले इंसान बने अच्छे ठीक है फिर माशरे को कोई खतरा नहीं होगा और उसका हिस्सा बहुत इम्पोर्टेंट बहुत जरूरी हिस्सा है पढ़ना लिखना पढ़ाई लिखाई बट इन द राइट कि तमी हम रोज अल्फाज इस्तेमाल करते हैं कल्चर 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 हमें पता है क्या उसका मतलब क्या है तहजीब जिसको उठना बैठना नहीं आएगा वो क्लासिकल डांस की क्या बात करेगा इतनी मेरे बाबा कहते थे फिर उस्ताद उनका ही मैं जिक्र करूंगी कि वो कहते थे कि ये बहुत फाइन ब्रेन की चीज है फाइन आर्ट जो है वो बहुत फाइन ब्रेन अप्रिशिएट करेगा और करेगा या अपनाएगा ये हर एक के बस की बात नहीं है मैं तो हमेशा कहती हूँ डांस ओनली ए फ्री पर्सन कैन डांस अगर कोई आपसे ये बहस करे कि इन अ कंट्री वे पीपल डोंट हैव क्लीन ड्रिंकिंग वाटर जहाँ पे एक आदमी के पास दिन की रोजी रोटी नहीं है बेसिक कम्यूनिटीज नहीं है सड़कें टूटी हुई हैं Uh, how would you say a uh, performing arts be it dance or be it theater is of any relevance in in a society like this jo ek ummeed ki kiran insaan ko nazar aati hai wo khush hone se aati hai aur uska jo ruh hai agar ruh khush na ho to jism marta rehta hai roz roz marta hai kyunki hum hamare jism ke andar ek cheez rehti hai ruh रूह के जजा इन आर्ट को कहा गया क्यों कि आप अपने गम भूल जाते हैं आप अपनी कमियां भूल जाते हैं माशरा खड़ा हो जाता है दोबारा मूविंग ऑन टू अनदर टॉपिक व्हिच इज यू नो हाउ यू हैव डेवलप्ड योर ओन स्टाइल ऑफ कथक योर ओन जिसको घराना कहते हैं जिसमें आपने क्लासिकल कथक को इनकॉपरेट किया है विद Uh, you know with mysticism and there's a focus on sufi poetry or kafi jo ek uh, punjabi riwayat hai uh, did you uh, stumble upon this or do you see this as your evolution as a dancer main samajhti hu ki artists ka bhi bahut zyada important role hota hai sirf ye nahi ki entertainment ki had tak ki main apne shauk puro pure karu acche costume se dalu chalo main nat kar li परफॉर्म कर लूँ तालियां भजवा लूँ मुझे इससे बहुत ज्यादा आगे रोल लगता है आप इतने लोगों के सामने जा रहे हैं आपके पास अगर मैसेज नहीं है ना कोई और सिर्फ एंटरटेनमेंट का है ना तो फिर जाहिर है दैट्स व्हाट दे गोइंग टू टेक सो आई हैव रियली विद हेल्प ऑफ गॉड एंड माय टीचर एंड माई पेरेंट्स रेली कि मैं इसको एक कॉज लेके चलती हूँ ये कॉज है मेरे लिए कि खूबसूरती माशरे से खत्म ना हो हमारा कल्चर जो एंशंट कल्चर है हमारा यूथ दोबारा इसके बारे में सीना दान के जैसे स्पैनिश लोग होते हैं ना द सोसाइटी द नेशन इज नोन बाय इट्स पॉस्चर व्हेन वी से पॉस्चर इन डांस इट्स नॉट ओनली पॉस्चर इन डांस इट्स पॉस्चर ऑफ लाइफ इट्स पॉस्चर ऑफ अ नेशन हमारे कथक में कोई ऐसी चीज नहीं है कि कोई लिबास में ऐसी चीज हो कि जिसम नजर आ रहा है कोई नखरे वाले कोई पता नहीं क्या लियोरिंग चीजें हैं बिल्कुल भी नहीं है ये लेकिन यही वही बात है ना कि वो इस तरह के लोगों को समझ में आएगी जो ऐसे पले हैं ठीक है उनको नहीं आएगी जो ऐसे नहीं पले तो इसलिए मैं पंजाबी भी हूँ मैं पंजाब की हूँ तो मुझे लगता है कि इंसान की जब ओरिजिनल जबान होती है तो उसका वो एक्सप्रेशन होता है तो मैं आई एम ए वेरी प्राउड पंजाबी बट यू नो मतलब उसको मैं इश्यू नहीं मैंने कभी बनाया लेकिन दैट्स व्हाई आई एम वेरी लिंक्ड विद द पोइट्री क्योंकि पोइट्री जो है वो असल में कल्चर uh, की तर्जुमानी करती है बाबा बुल्ले शाह माधोलाल शाह हुसैन ये सारे लोग जो हैं ये रक्स की बात कर रहे हैं उस रक्स की बात कर रहे हैं कि जिसमें के अबेंडनमेंट है खो जाना है मौलाना रूमी जी दे आर नॉट परफॉर्मिंग 
They don't perform. I don't perform. I never perform. I never think that there is audience on the other side and it's me, a performer on this side. No, I don't like it. We travel together somewhere, if we do. And I say it many times that sometimes if I don't travel, let's stay here. We're not going anywhere, fine. So that is an aura. It jo aura engulf karta hai space ko, wo spiritual hai. Theek hai? Wo entertainment ka aura nahi hota. And entertainment sirf taaliyan bajwaati hai. Lekin jo cheez aapko khamush kar de, jo cheez aap ke aansu le aaye, jo jiske baad aap baat na karna chahen, wo hai aap. You know, you've been the recipient of several awards. You have the UK British Cultural Award, the International Dance Award, and so many more. Uh, but in particular, you also received uh, Pakistan's Pride of Performance Award in 1993. Uh, how did it feel to be acknowledged, although still not allowed to dance? When I learned that I, I'm getting this award, I was going to return it. <laughs> Would you believe? I. I very much believe that. I was going to return it. So I had a few discussions with uh, my uh, mentally aware, wise friends. And I said, this is what I want to do. I don't like these sub double standards, you know, just to show to the world. And enough of that, you know, I've seen it. Bhutto Saab ke zamane mein bhi mainne ye dekha. Ke ji, Bhutto Saab ne bhi jo academy tayar ki thi. वो बाहर दिखाने के लिए थी यहाँ पे कुछ नहीं होता था यहाँ हम तो कॉम नहीं करते थे तो क्या फायदा यानी आप वो कर रहे हैं जो बाहर के रूलर करते हैं और बाहर की कंट्रीज करते हैं दे आर प्राउड ऑफ इट बट यू आर नॉट रियली नाही जी थैंक यू सो मच फॉर बींग ऑन द शो थैंक यू सो मच बिग डे प्लेजर कुछ चीजें हम सिर्फ किताबों से नहीं सीख सकते सखावत यानी कल्चर एक सखावती माहौल से ही सीखा जा सकता है people in visual and performing arts people in music provide us with this culture that makes the very fabric of our society and gives us our identity it defines who we are as a nation humne azad mulk to pa liya lekin hamari soch ab tak azad nahi